This is polyvinyl chloride, a synthetic resinous material converted from vinyl chloride gas. And it's the basis for thousands of plastic products, from food wrappers to phonograph records. In its final marketable form, it's as safe as any ordinary household item. But during the manufacturing process, when the gas is being synthesized and the resin is being formed, exposure can present a serious risk, causing a relatively rare form of cancer called angiosarcoma that attacks the liver, and unfortunately, it's invariably fatal, or at least to the present. Information that vinyl chloride could cause cancer in animals was known as early as 1970. But it was not until the actual deaths of workers were reported that industry began to heed the signals. This is the Panasilk Company of New York, their New Jersey plant in the heart of the chemical belt. They are processing vinyl chloride, proven to be a cancer-producing killer. And they're reducing the risks by using a carefully controlled system. Gas detecting sensors spotted at key worker stations throughout the plant are tied to a central control bank. If the gas levels exceed the safety threshold, warning lights alert the workers in the hot area.